Hello, shiny, happy people. Welcome to Kimba's Crafts. My name is Kim, and if you're new here, hello. And if you are returning, welcome back, guys. Love you. Um, yeah, so we are here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're here with a, another unboxing. <clears throat> There's just something so much fun about getting into a new painting. Yes, yeah, starting a new project. Um, so we have here, this is a Diamond Art Club box. If you're new to diamond painting, then you might be new to this box. If you're new to diamond painting, you might not be new to this box. Uh, they definitely, um, you know, slay the market when it comes to diamond painting uh, and their quality is superb, superb, sub, super, whatever that means, you know, it's, it's, you know, amazing. You know, you definitely, um, oh my goodness. Really dog? You done? Okay. The water is there like all day long. And when I start recording, she wants to drink it. Anyway, that's my coffee maker. Yeah, we got all kinds of noises in this background, no matter how many people are not here. <laughs> so yeah, you know, you guys, if you've never done a Diamond Art Club, they they seem very expensive, but you know, there's a lot of discounts. There's always some kind of discount there's always some kind of coupon code. I mean, just Google Diamond Art Club coupon co code. If you don't want to use an affiliates code, I mean, I have i don't think I've ever not gotten at least 20% off. Um, and then, you know, they, their rewards program is unbeatable. Like I've, there's no company out there that gives a rewards program like Diamond Art Club. And I, and it's, you know, you, you do, you get, you get money back, you get discounts off, you get free, sh like it's, it, I would say, you know, save some money and give Diamond Art Club, try one of their paintings, because you won't be disappointed, you really won't. All right, so enough of that. Um, yeah, it is a round diamond painting, because you know, I like to do a round with a square, and you know that because they have a pink circle on the cover on the front of it that says round diamonds and it's round. If it's a square diamond painting, it would have a blue square and then it has this pink foil ribbon that wraps around. So their round diamond paintings are pink. Their square diamond paintings are blue, the box, the embellishments. And this is what we're doing. Yay, where the fun never ends, adventure time. This is a um, 51 centimeter by 137 centimeter. Yes, that is a big, big painting. And it's by Mandy Manzano. This will be my first Mandy Manzano. It's the only one I own. I'm so excited about this. So my son's favorite cartoon is Adventure Time. And he, I showed him this and he said, I would totally hang that up. And I was like, it's mine. Click, 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 Apple Pay. Take my money. So yeah, that's why I got it. And I don't know, like I was going through my rounds and this just kept saying, do me now. So I, I just couldn't get it out of my head. And you know what? I think this qualifies for um, DP Paws and Claws, the event, because, you know, Jake, the dog, and Rainy Corn, Lady Rainy Corn. So, yeah, I'm so excited about this. So I have not seen the canvas yet, so we're going to dig right into here. And I have a pole right here. So like my hands are between it. I'm trying not to knock you guys. And I'm not used to recording this way. So I might get in the frame here and here. I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try not to, but this is the way it had to be done because I just said it's 137 centimeters. And yeah, it's gotta go that way, not that way. So. 
that is why we are recording on the tip end of my countertop here. So I just took the plastic cover off. Uh, well, real quick, what else is on this box? It tells you how to diamond paint. It tells you what's inside the box. It has a scan, unlock 10% off. Again, I would say, go ahead and look for that 20% off coupon somewhere. You get one the first time you order on the app, download the app, um, and you get one, you get one with your first order with an affiliate code. Um, yeah, so, you know, you could, you could order one not on the app and use the affiliate code and then, then download the app and order one from the app and get another 20% off that first order. So there's ways around it. There are ways people. Okay. So I wasn't sure we got an old tool kit. So this is one of the first ones I ordered. This is this. I got this one way back in the day. I've been diamond painting since January, actually January 31st. So basically February, it's way back in the day, months and months ago. <laughs> oh, so we get in the bag, you get the painting that's wrapped in a very nice, um, heavy plastic dust cover that says Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. You get a tool kit, more than likely you're gonna see the new tool kit that has all the fancies in it. Um, I'm lame, so I got an old one. And you get a small sticker. A lot of people will put this on the side of their boxes, but I have two journals and this, this sticker goes in one of them and then the large sticker goes in one of them. So on this, it just tells you all the things on the front, diamond, shape, size, artist, name of painting. Inside, all right, we're just gonna go over this real quick. This is an old tool kit. Damn, oh yeah, so, <laughs> you don't even get the um, heart caddy with this. You get two, two pieces of heart wax, a couple bags, not enough to do anything with, a basic pen, a squishy, a boat, and then I guess only one multi-placer, a four. She's over there playing with her baby her nasty koala that's got one eyeball. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get into this dust bag here. So, I don't know what that is. Dirt. But their canvases are extremely soft. You, the, you can tell that this is a quality canvas. Um, there's, um, it's heavy, it's, you know, a very nice canvas, soft on the back. They, I don't know, it's called tarpaulin or something like that. And supposedly that helps it lay flat faster and all the good things. But I don't, it being so long, I don't think I have to roll it all the way backwards. Wow. Oh my God, I love it. I hope my son has a door or something for you to hang this on. So I'm just gonna like, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be in this frame here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna, there's an old girl. I'm just gonna do the, the end here. I'm gonna do this end. And obviously I'm gonna have to pan over this because it's gorgeous. I, I know this has been done many, many times. Many people unboxed it. Many people have finished it. But, hey, this is the first time Kim has done it. And there she is, guys. Oh my gosh. That is so fun. That is so fun. So I am watching Adventure Time. I don't know all of the characters' names. I do know that's my favorite princess. I can't remember her name though. And she's miserable. <laughs> she's a miserable, miserable, I don't know, fart cloud or something. And then this is a vampire. And I don't remember her name. But there's Finn and Jake. They're goofy. 
And then there's the uh, Ice Prince. Or the Ice King. The Ice King. He's up here. He's weirdo. He is a weirdo. And she's Korean. She's my favorite. She's Korean. And this is her. All of this. This is Lady Rainicorn. And then there's um, Princess Bubblegum. And right now I do know that Finn is in love with her. So that's what I know so far. Lady Rainicorn is so pretty. So Princess Bubblegum is riding her. So yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I guess we can go ahead and measure it. Um, I feel like, you know, this is not necessary with companies like Diamond Art Club, but we will do it anyway. We, oh, 51 centimeters. Okay. 51 on the dot. Yeah, so the pug only goes up to 100 centimeters and then his, his tongue runs out. <laughs> uh, oops. Um, so, this is going to be my round diamond painting. Um, I'm looking at it and there's a, quite a bit of color blocking for sure. Like this whole cloud that's, um, you know, other other than there's like three colors in this cloud here there is you know some i guess confetti if you want to call it but it's mostly blocks of color dispersed throughout like like i feel like 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 there's three colors here you know Three colors here. This is all one color. Like there's four colors in her face. So it, it's it. I feel like it's gonna go by rather quickly. Um, you know these little these little intricate parts here. They might be the most confetti that we see. All right, guys. I'm gonna do a quick pan over this so you can see all the fun parts of it. for this I just think it's adorable and I do I am enjoying the cartoon we got a great stick here um, and then here is our sticker sheet and these are the pre-cut stickers because you know I haven't been diamond painting that long so I did come in after the pre-cut stickers 55 colors um, and there are two ABs. So in Diamond Art Club, they don't put AB next to it. It's just known that their ABs are 150 and below. So they put the DMC codes in order. Anything below 150 is an AB, and they have two of them here, 124 and 134, and it's a purple and a green AB. And then this whole thing is a sticker. Uh, something went went funny on my camera. This has changed to, this is a, their old one and it's, you know, how tips and tricks, step-by-step -step instructions. I think the new one also has, you know, a coupon code, thank you 10 or whatever in it. So here's the drills. The drills are not different. They are still, I mean, um, they're round drills. I guess, I guess they did upgrade them. So these are probably the old ones. They have to be the old ones, right? I don't know. 
but I guess they did revamp their round drills. Um, so we'll see if I have any issues with these, but look at those colors. I wasn't sure how I was gonna kit this up. I wanted to see what I had as far as drills um, before I kitted this up. So I have almost all of my storage available at this point because you know I, um, I did do a lot of kitting down and so, um, yeah, we're gonna go look at that now. I'm gonna move the camera. I'm gonna move it over to another um, view so I can sit over here and we'll go ahead and put this away for now. And um, yeah, we're gonna do a little kitten chat. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. All right, hold on guys. Okay guys, so I have you set up my normal way. And I already opened this. Um, so just again, if you're new to Diamond Art Club, they do put a sticker on here that tells you what your canvas name is, where the fun never ends, uh, in case you do store it separately. I'm trying to minimize the crinkle. Okay, so these are our drills. Let's see what we have here. I'm not gonna call out all the colors, but I just wanna see like an idea. Oh. So I, I, I've never done a Mandy Manzano, but I do know from watching multiple videos that it's very heavy on the three tens because if you don't remember from the canvas, I already, I rolled it up, but every, everything is outlined in her, in her canvases. So you do use, use a lot of three ten. I don't have a hatred for three ten, so that does not bother me at all. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine bags of 310. There are one, two, three, four bags of the 3865, which is the white they're using. So they're not using, you know, pure, pure white 5002. Is it 5002? I think so, right? Um, but they're using like, a, kind of like an ivory, it looks like. Uh, so there, and that was like really heavy color blocking in the cloud and on that, um, <clears throat> mountain cap. So there's four bags of that. So I'm just trying to take stock of what I have here. We have a lot of two bags of this color. One, one, one. So one there. And then we have... Some ones that are minimum. So honestly, I think this is gonna call for the Elizabeth Ward. I have two trays of it. I always make sure that the ends don't match up with something else. Okay. I have two trays of it so we can mix and match and you know find the best combination and at one point i did buy extras so that's why i have too many so i have quite a few of these actually did i buy extras of these I might not have bought extras of those. I have two, four, six of them. Although it's not on this one. It's over there. I'm going to take this off though. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't understand the whole point of the washi. I thought the washi was going to keep um, residue off, but it put residue on. I was spoofed. So I cleaned off up all of my other ones. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see what we got here. So we're definitely going to use, obviously, one of the big ones for the 310 and for the white. And I don't think we need... 
another big one. I mean, can two of these go in here? I can't remember now. We got two. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm not really sure what's going on with my phone today. It's annoying because um, I just went through all of this and I looked up and it was not recording. I think maybe I had too many apps open in the background, so I just shut all of them and we'll see what happens. But what I did was is I went through all of the bags of drills and I separated them according to how many bags I had of each. And so, like I said, um, I had two, four, six, eight, nine bags of 310. And so I set aside a large container for that one. And I was able to fit three bags of 310 in the large bag here. This is gonna be my setup. So I figured out, you know, how many can go in the little ones, how many need, uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, bags of two colors or two five bags five colors that have two bags so um, I'm gonna put them in this size and then the rest of these are single bag colors some of them are bigger so they'll go in one of these and then I I'm going to put the, the ones with the least amount in the little containers here. Okay, so this equals 55 containers. I'm using two large ones for the black and the white, and then five of the, so two of the extra large, five of the large, and they're gonna use be used for the double bagged. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18 of the large or the medium. And they're gonna be for the fuller single bags. And then however many, uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27 small bags for the less full bags so i am not going to arrange them in color or symbol order yet in the tray i'm going to go ahead and um get them in their proper container size first and then i'll go ahead and rearrange the trays so that's what you missed that's what i was doing i was just um, figuring out how many of what size containers i needed I'm sorry I didn't record that, <clears throat> but I don't know what's going on with my phone. Oh, I almost stabbed you there, sorry. So, anyway, let's catch up, because I am so excited. We finally had a contractor come out, and we're still waiting for the quote but he looked at our sunroom and um, oh no, I lost a drill in there. <clears throat> and um, you know, we told him what we wanted. And so he's gonna draw up a quote and uh, I, I'm just so excited. And then we're walking around and we're like, well, we need this done and we need this done. And he started, like, we started just adding on projects. Like we want the rest of the windows replaced. Um, then we were outside looking at the siding cause he would have to rip some of the siding off. <clears throat> and um, Bob's like, well, what about laying concrete? Do you lay concrete? And he's like, we do it all. <laughs> so then we're like, well, we want a patio out here. Um, so yeah, it, it ended up being, and then I said, asked him about doing the floors for the three rooms. So he's gonna quote us for that too. 
um, yeah, and Bob's like, let's just get it all done. Like, instead of, so perfect. Two bags fit in these large containers. Just fine. So that's 728. 728, not 782, 728. Um, so he asked to uh, let, let give him 24 to 48 hours to develop a quote. And I did ask him, I said, can you, um, you know, separate the projects. So if, you know, we don't want to do one of them at the moment, you know, we can just say, all right, we want to go ahead with the concrete and the flooring and the sunroom or, you know, and, and we'll do the windows next time or something like that. And so he's going to um, itemize the projects. But I um, am planning on picking up a lot of overtime the next couple months. Uh, he said that it would look like it won't be a start until mid to late October, which is fine. He also said that it would um, probably take, you know, no more than three weeks, four, four weeks tops to do everything. So that was... I was super happy about that. Um, so yeah, I have some time to pick up as much overtime as I can um, to save for this project. Um, you know, and if we need to finance any of it, we'll, we'll just finance it. it. I mean, it's gonna go towards the equity of the house and um, you know, just improve the quality of living in the house and stuff like that. So yeah, we're gonna do what we have to do, but um, the quotes he gave us were really, really reasonable. Um, so I'm happy he did a neighbor of ours converted their sunroom into a full room and um, he was very happy with him so I, I we like him we like <clears throat> we vibed with him well so uh, that's important you know he seemed like a really down-to-earth guy um, he was like <laughs> I and he's like, oh, so you're going to be all set. And I'm like, well, now we need to do the bathrooms. And so he went and looked at the bathrooms. And he was like, these jobs would be easy. I said, well, we're not, doing, we're not talking about those right now. And he's like, no, 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 when you're ready. So definitely, you know, he'll have more work if he, you know, does what he says. So excited about that and I was like and eventually we'll need a new roof and he's like we do roofs too so they they remodel full homes so um he showed me some pictures they did some beautiful you know he showed me some beautiful kitchens so very excited um you know it's really hard to find a good contractor my girlfriend at work just had a huge project done at her house and she had a lot of issues. I mean, she's very happy with how it's coming out, but like with delivery men and people walking in her house on unscheduled and stuff like that. And it just, she has two large dogs. Like she can't afford to have people just coming to her house unannounced, <laughs> you know, possibly getting bit by one of her dogs. And like, that's like not something that's just inappropriate. And and then she said at the end of the project, he tried to like say she owed him money because of lumber. And she's like, I'm not giving you another dime. Like she's, she's so cool. She's tough. She's like, I'm not giving you another dime. I paid you what you quoted me. You threw a ton of lumber out in that dumpster over there. 
I don't even know why. She's like, you go ahead and climb in there and grab that shit out. <laughs> I'm not paying for the stuff you threw away. If you guys messed up, you ordered the wrong, like that's not on me. And he's like, okay, okay. But she was like really disappointed that he tried that, you know, cause her being a woman, you, you gotta wonder if that's why he thought he could just like, like squeeze a little more money out of her. So yeah, but she is not one to be messed with. So he picked the wrong nurse. Um, so it's just so hard to find, you know, trustworthy, reliable help. Okay, so let's see here. So we filled all those. I'm sorry, I had to walk away for a minute. So 3814. Yeah, so I'm so excited about the craft room. Um, you know, I've been, so now that I know it's, it's going to really happen, um, I've been kind of mapping out in my mind where things are gonna go. And I've been looking at desks and what kind of a desk I want. And I think I found it. Um, and then, you know, and I was thinking about like making sure the size was appropriate so that, you know, canvases can fit on it. And there's a space under it where you know, if I need to roll a canvas up, there's like a little lip where it can like rest on. So I think it's gonna work. I was showing Bob. And uh, we're gonna put, um, a TV in there. And I'm gonna get, I've, I've been looking like, I wasn't sure if I wanted like, to get a small love seat sofa, um, sofa bed, nine, nine eighty six. Um, but I think I've decided on, cause I don't, I love sleeping on my reclining sofa. I, like, I really like sleeping on it. And so I think it's really comfortable sleeping reclined. Um, so we're gonna get, uh, I showed Bob, I wanna get a cuddler. They're just like an extra wide recliner. So I said to him, you know, if we wanna watch a movie out there, cause Kaylee and Adam, her boyfriend, are out here. You know, we can both fit in it. Or if they want, if they want to go out there, you know, if I'm not utilizing that room, um, then they can go out there. So, and they can both fit on it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get one of those and uh, put that out there. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm very, very excited to finally have my own space and to be able to like close the door and record and not have to worry about the washer and the dryer and the air conditioner and like all the things that go off in the house. And, uh, you know, just be able to do my thing. So uh, that is exciting. Still waiting for the quote. And then I've been, okay. So I have not been able to do any of my heaven and earth designs because for some reason I cannot, I, I, and I, 
I know I'm repeating this and I just can't remember what video I said it in. Um, I cannot upgrade to buy the program, the Pattern Keeper. So I just was able to factory reset the Kindle this morning. Um, but uh, I, I just, I was at the dentist office with Bob because he had to have some dental work done and they actually sedated him. So he needed me to drive him home. And um, it was required that I sat in the waiting area and waited for him till his procedure was done. And so it was like an hour and a half. So I, I thought, okay, I brought my crochet and I brought the Kindle and I thought, you know, I could work on factory resetting it and doing um, and re-downloading Pattern Keeper. So I was able to factory reset it while I was there, but it would not let me go on the websites. Their, their Wi-Fi would not let me go on the websites. I needed to go on to download um, the things that I needed to download to get the Google Play Store back on my device. So I wasn't able to finish that. So I just did a, a lot of my crochet, which was nice. It was very relaxing. Um, so I got a decent amount of that done and I got a lot done on my Oraloa. I've been really enjoying that. Really enjoying that. And, but I, I do know I need to get a move on my um, Heaven and Earth design. So I'm gonna work on that tonight. I'm gonna work on getting that up and running again tonight for you guys and work on my or Loa and work on this. Hopefully, all of it. <laughs> I wanna do it all, all the time. It's so frustrating, there's only so many times, hours in a day, and you gotta eat and go to the bathroom and sleep and all that. <laughs> you gotta do all the human things, it stinks. Um, Got a big, big piece of trash there. I don't know. Um, these drills look fantastic. I've done a couple rounds, round diamond paintings by Diamond Art Club. I think I've only done one square by them, to be honest with you. Let me think. Oh, oh no, no, no. I did the, the mystery painting. But my first square was the Owl by Diamond Art Club. And the rest of them, I think, were rounds, to be honest with you. And I've never had a problem with their rounds. So, but these look really good. I don't know. So, I, I really wouldn't care if they were the old ones. I, I had no complaints about them before. I was surprised when I heard that they were, re I, I guess because they were starting to do them in, on their own or something, they were transitioning to making them on their own and just phasing out the old ones, I guess. I don't know, but these look good. Anyway, um, so that's where I'm at project-wise. I would like to do a row of the Heaven and Earth designs a week at least. And honestly, it's, it's, it's not that much. You know, I didn't do any last week. 
because I was doing, I did the Oraloa and I did um, the African Beauty and so I want to get that up and running and get some blocks down on that one. I do have the mystery painting sitting in the corner over there just waiting to be kitted up I have to do a thing on storage I don't know and tell you guys what I like and why but I do have um, a video on my kit down process. Sometimes this background noise, like playing with these and stuff, is very loud and I don't realize it. I, or my microphone picks up so much of it. And I just, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can use this video if it's gonna be too like shocking to the ears, but I don't know that it's doing that until like I play it back for myself. And so, it's like, do I throw that whole video away? I don't know. But I thought I cleaned these off. I'm going to have to get goof off. Is that what it is? Goof off? Because I thought I did a good job. Like, I scrubbed, scrubbed these. My thumbs were hurting. I was scrubbing them so hard. And they don't look like it. I see a lot of residue on them. I'm gonna have to get some of that stuff. Yeah, my daughter went back to school this week. They started school yesterday. be home during the day as much. And my son's car is all fixed. My brother actually fixed it. He, he, he uh, fixed it from a YouTube video. So the mechanic quoted him 900 to start and um, that's if it's even the only issue. So my brother looked it up and he was like, just bring it here, I'll fix it for you. $30, guys. It was a $30 car part. And we fixed it. My brother is so handy. And he's fixed a lot of cars. So it would have ended up so the first, the problem that they told my son it was, the initial car part was a, was a hundred dollars, and that and I rent and I drove an hour and a half away for it. That ended up not being the problem. So it would have cost my son probably double the nine hundred because they would have tried that. It wouldn't it wouldn't have worked, and then they would have charged him probably another nine hundred in labor to do what my brother did, which was the $30 car part. So they just returned the $100 car part, bought the $30 car part and fixed it. Yeah, and it probably would have cost like a couple grand. So that's how they get you, they say. 900 to start. So he's up and running again. And I was thinking about, I, I mean, initially going into this month, I wanted to, where I have a witch 
and I wanted to work on it for drills and chills and all that. But she's a square and you know, I'm already doing the Oraloa, so that's why I opted for this one. So I'll, I'll do the paws and claws for this one, and then I'm going to, if I finish this in a month, which is highly unlikely, um, I mean, I could if this is all I focused on, but uh, splitting up my time and my plans of picking up overtime, I don't think so. Um, but if I do, and I have time to, or I finish the Oraloa, that's what I need to finish, the Oraloa. And I can pull out another square. Then maybe I'll do that. But I don't know. I kind of was thinking about doing the Dreamers designs since that had the second number of um, um, highest number of votes. And that way I can try Dreamers designs because I really want to try Dreamers designs even though I'm on a no-buy, but then I know I can buy from them again if I like them. Which, I don't even know why I feel like I need to like them, because I feel like I will like them. I haven't not liked the company yet. I don't know. Oh, and by then, yeah, that's true. I'm peeing Deutschland will definitely be here. I told Bob because I buy everything from Amazon anymore. I And I, I feel like I told you guys this too. I don't know. I can't remember anymore. I talk, I talk to you guys so much. Um, and so I'm constantly having packages come. Although today I did... Um, after Bob's dental appointment, we had to go to CVS to get his antibiotics and pain meds. And I just picked up, I was out of shampoo and conditioner and body wash. And I actually bought that in the store. Yeah. But I would have totally ordered that from Amazon if I had to. <laughs> but anyway, um... I said to Bob, I'm like, I'm afraid our neighbors think I'm crazy with all these packages coming here. And he's like, I think you're crazy. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough, Bob. But you're allowed to think I'm crazy because you married me. Yeah, it seems like everyone liked the video with Bob in it. He's so funny. Before I uploaded it, he's like, I was like, you're going to be famous. He's like, well, just be prepared. People are going to want to see me come back. <laughs> he, he's, he's not shy at all. Because he, um, he, he taught martial arts for years. So he is so used to being in front of people. Um, I'm, I'm getting less shy, I guess. But like one time he asked me to teach a kickboxing class because he um, had to go to some meeting and it was like far away and he didn't think he would get back in time. And let me tell you, I had such anxiety at the thought of having to, to like teach, even though I took class 
like all the time and did all the things like I had such anxiety at the idea of having to teach a class I was like so stressed out I got there so early I turned all the lights on and I was laying on the floor of the mat like obsessively going over like all the moves I was gonna have them do and thank god he showed up I was like oh I was like, I, I couldn't sleep. I was so stressed out. <laughs> so I, I was able to take class and not have to teach it. <laughs> yeah. But I'm getting less shy, I guess. But, you know, it's easy recording myself like this and not being in front of the camera and just talking like who doesn't talk it's much easier I don't really edit a lot I hardly edit anything out of my like kitten chats and stuff I'll like edit noises out and things like that or like zoom in on things but I don't really edit out things I just and I don't like even when I did my COVID experience talk I didn't like have a list I just figured whatever comes out it is was meant to come out like was what was weighing heavy on me and is what I wanted to share and remember um, initially I was like, I, I thought I was going to make a list so I wouldn't forget anything. And then I felt like, like no, I just want to just start talking. And, you know, if it was impactful to me, then I would remember to say it. And so that's how I did it. And so, yeah, I don't really, I just talk. My dog is snoring. We think she's going deaf, guys. It's so sad. I mean, she is going to be 12 this November. But she's hearing less and less. So I've been kneeling down and like putting my my face to her face and telling her I love her and stuff in case she can't hear me. My daughter's like really kind of heartbroken. She's like, take her to the vet. I'm like, for what? what? I mean. What can they do? Can the vet do anything? I mean, I don't. I guess I'll call them. I am going to call them. I need to call them anyway because they need more of her arthritis medicine. And I'll ask them if there's anything that they can do. If we suspect her hearing is compromised. I got to remember to put these labels on first because I'm, I'm tossing them over there and It does not seem like I have this many left to go. But I guess I do. But, yeah, we'll say, do you want to stick? And she used to, 
like jump up. Now she just looks at us. I'm gonna turn around and see if she's if she's looking at me because she heard me say stick. No, she's not. Her face is very. Let me see. Sergio. 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 See, she doesn't look up. She's just speaking. She used to be like such a great watchdog. I mean, the tiniest, like I always felt at night if I heard something, if she didn't move, I didn't worry about it. But I knew it was like in my mind. But she is still walking good. anything like maybe she has like Haley did make a good point she said maybe she has wax in her ears or something that they can clean out so. always remember to open these first my nails she does my nails so thick I can use my nails I still have those clips though that I can use to open these if I need to. Is anybody doing any events? Uh, these next two months drills or, and chills or festival of witches I could have used that one for both but I was like doing my can uh, canvases based on events in the beginning of the year and now I just want to do them because that's what's like kind of calling me. I, I sometimes I have a hard time and it's because of my schedule and stuff like following along like who's giving the whip and chat when and when prizes are being offered and like I just miss all that and I'm like like I just don't even feel like I'm like in the event because I miss so much. So I'm like, okay, this isn't, this isn't working out for me. Might as well just do the canvas that is calling my name. I'm trying to figure out when the Diamond Painting Dutch Lane gets here, I wanna start that again. I, I feel like I, I, I don't wanna do that until the craft room is done. Like I don't wanna like do another Josephine wall until I'm settled in there. And get a couple more companies done. I'd like to get that Mary's Diamonds done too. I'd like to do the Dreamers Designs, the Mary's Diamonds. I'd like to do a diamond dot artistry, like either the elephant Yeah, and then I ordered the Uniquely Yours Down Under. 
I ordered that back on July 2nd and have not heard a word. And I emailed them and I was like, hey, um, any idea? And they're, they're like, we didn't forget about you. Um, yeah, China's, China, you know, with COVID and all. I don't know. I'm like, how come everybody else, <laughs> all the other, I've, I've ordered from quite a few companies and they're always able to get it out to me. I don't know. And they're, I'm pretty sure their website says like four to six weeks. We're on July, August, September. Like we're going on eight weeks now. I don't know. I and I, it's like I'm just like whatever. I have so much to do, and I know I'm not going to get to that like right away. I just like. I feel like if, if it's that bad, like as far as, oh no, do I not have enough? I counted this wrong. Um, then they should like update their website, like due to COVID, our turnaround time is, you know, up to 10 weeks or like, I, I, that's what I would do. As a company, I would, you know, be completely honest with what my, what our turnaround time is like. Post in the Facebook group. I am part of their Facebook group. I, I don't remember seeing anything. And I'm on Facebook every day. I don't remember seeing anything. So. I'm going to have to. Uh, 37. So I need two more. So. Um, this is what I'm going to do. So. This one can fit into a small. I think. Yeah. I counted wrong, I guess. And then. That's the nice thing about these stickers really come on and go on and off very nicely. Okay. And then this one. Counted wrong, huh? I don't know why they don't make it so that so I can fit one more. Fit one more. 
one more here. So we gotta move one more over. Four fourteen. To fit me. Yes. Ah, of course, this one has static. I think there's only one out of all these 55 colors that have static, and it's this one. <laughs> So you know I hate sharp things, but this really lifts these stickers up without damaging them. So you just very gently, you know, if I were to use my fingernails, I would damage the corners. All right. This has hardly anything in it. Hardly has anything in it and I'm losing them. I don't think I can afford to lose this one, guys. There we go. And that's all she wrote. There we go. Now I'm gonna time lapse you guys and I'm gonna organize these. You can see me organize them. Okay, guys it's actually the next day I don't know I don't know what my phone was doing like I'm missing like parts of my video so I'm editing and I finished arranging my um, kit up in the order that I want to keep it in so this is what I have I have all the numbers so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then I have an extra space down here and I'll tell you what I used that for, ended up using that for. So nine, A, C, E, F, G, H, J, K, L, N, O, P, R, S, T, upside down, T, U, V, upside down, V, Y, X, and then I have lines, and then I have dots. And the dots 
these two are dots. So when I say dots, like there's a dot in it, okay? And then I have um, just, I, these are kind of lines too, plus in, in hashtag, but I couldn't fit it over here. And then I have arrows, so just things go in different ways. These arrows are up or down, up, uh, right, left, and then these are triangles. Here's another dot. And then over here are the corners, the four corners go in different ways. So at least they're all very different colors. The arrows are different colors. And then I have my two big dots. So, yep, yeah, that's how I ended up kitting it up. Yeah, I mean, there probably are better ways of doing this, but because I'm just looking, there's a lot of dots, right? Like, it would be nice if all the dots could go over here, but I really don't want to split these up because they really should be all right next to each other. All the arrows should be next to each other. So, but that's how, that's how I organize it. So numbers, letters, and then similar symbols. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out, and if you wanna see more from me, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I will be time-lapsing this entire canvas, probably in parts because it's so big, unlike the African Beauty that I was able to do all in one. Um, it'll probably be in multiple parts. And again, my time-lapse videos are no talking, just good music, and if that's not your thing, just click on over it but I enjoy them so I like to make them and I figure I'm already diamond painting so might as well tape it so you guys have a wonderful wonderful day take care keep diamond painting